Okay, so Junior Roberts here with real juniorroberts.com. So this questionnaire says a 500 kilogram car traveling at 25 meter per second collides head on with another car of mass 800 kilogram traveling at 80 meter per second in the opposite direction. Both cars move off together after the impact. And the question says now, what is the magnitude and direction of the velocity vector they both move off with? Alright, so in order to consider this question, first of all, this question is related to momentum, right? And for us to actually consider this, consider this question, right, we're going to consider a little diagram, right, of what is going on here. So what we're told in this question is that we have these two uh, cars, right, traveling in the opposite direction, right, and it is said that this car, we could consider this as a 500 kilogram car, so let us say this is 500 kilograms, right, and it's moving uh, with a velocity of 25 meter per second, so we could say it's going this way, so we could say it's going this way, right, with 25 meter per second, right, and we have another car, this car right here, which has a mass of 800 kilograms, right? However, it's traveling in the opposite direction, like so, with a velocity of 18 meter per second, right? And we're told that both cars, after traveling in the opposite direction, they collided head on, right? And they move off together after the impact. Now, the question wants us now to actually calculate the magnitude and direction of the velocity vector they both move off with after the collision right so for this we're going to consider the principle of the conservation of momentum right and for the principle of the conservation of momentum we know that the total momentum just before a collision is equal to the total momentum just after the collision right so we can write it right here Alright, so we have it right here as the total momentum. The principle, the principle of the conservation of momentum is that the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. Now we know that the momentum of a body, P, is equal to the mass of the body multiplied by its velocity. Right, so we can actually write an expression to equate the total momentum before collision, right, and the total momentum after collision. And we will write that as m1 u1 plus plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 uh, plus m2 multiplied by v in this case we write this expression right because what we're dealing with is an inelastic collision because it says that the both cars they collided and they move off together after the impact right and we're interested in calculating the velocity that they move off with. Alright, so we'll write this expression m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 plus m2 multiplied by v, in which m1 and m2 are the mass of car 1 and car 2 respectively, and u1 and u2 are the initial velocity of cars 1 and car 2 respectively. So now, once we have our expression right here, we can now start to do some calculation. So now, we're going to say, okay, mass of car 1 is 500 kilograms all right and the initial velocity of car 1 is 25 meter per second all right we put that in a bracket and we're going to say now plus m2 which is 800 kilograms so 800 kilograms multiplied by 18 meter per second but interestingly notice that the velocity of this car is going in one direction while the velocity of this car is going in the opposite direction right so we can consider a statement in which we say that east is our positive direction and west is our negative direction right so if this car is going to the east it's going to be going with a positive velocity right in the positive direction while this car now, since it's going to the west, it's going to be moving with a negative velocity. So, 
And again, the negative just indicates the direction of the velocity because velocity is a vector. So therefore, it has a magnitude as well as a direction. So we say 800 multiplied by, I'm going to say negative 18 meter per second. And that now is equal to M1 plus M2. M1 again is, eight, is 500 kilograms. So we say 500 kilograms plus M2, which is 800 multiply by our unknown velocity now we can start to do some simplification right so we're going to say 500 so if we get out our calculator so we simply say 500 multiply by 25 and we get one we get 12,500 so we're going to say this here is 12,500 uh, kilogram meter per second right then we're going to say plus, and we're going to calculate what's in the bracket here. So we're going to say 800 multiplied by negative 18, because the velocity was going in the opposite direction. So we're going to say negative 18, and we get minus 1400, minus 14,400. So we're going to write it then as minus 14,400 kilogram meter per second right and we continue over here equal 500 plus 800 it's simply 1300 kilograms multiplied by v now if we look right here we see we have a positive sign and a negative sign here right so when we simplify this we're going to get 12,500 kilogram meter per second Right, and we're going to get minus right? because once you multiply these two, positive and negative gives you negative. So we're going to get minus 14,400 kilogram meter per second. And we expect to get a uh, minus sign right here since both cars are going in the opposite direction. And remember, once we have vectors going in the opposite direction, we have to subtract them in order to find their combined effect. Right, so we get 12,500 kilogram meter per second minus 14,400 kilogram meter per second equal 1,300 kilograms multiplied by V. Now we can now simplify here. So again, we grab our calculator and we say 12,500 minus 14,400 equal 1,000 negative 1,900. So we say negative 1,900 kilogram meter per second, All right? And that now would be equal to 1,300 kilogram multiplied by the unknown velocity. So now in order for us to find the velocity, what we can simply do is divide both sides by 1,300 kilogram, divide here by 1,300 kilogram. And in doing so, we're going to see that this cancels this, right? And we're going to left with V, which is our velocity that both cars move off with, being minus 1900 divided by 1300. So we're going to say minus 1900 divided by 1300. And we get an answer of minus 1.46. So this is going to be minus 1.46 meter per second. Now we can remember here, we made a statement that anything going west is going in the negative direction, while anything going east is going in the positive direction. All right? So we can now finally make a statement that our final answer, because the question wanted us to find the our question wanted us to find the uh, magnitude and direction of the velocity, right? So we can say that v would be equal to mine would be equal to 1.46 meter per second to the west and that would be our final answer right because we said that anything going in the negative direction is going towards the west right so therefore what will happen is that after the bo after both cars collide head on right they're going to move in the same direction as the second car with a velocity of 1.46 meter per second. All right. 
Second, so Junior Roberts, realjuniorroberts.com. If there's anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on, you can post it below in comments and I'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you. Like this if it was helpful and click subscribe on the bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.